Here we go again. Another favorite of mine, the Neotropical Rattlesnake. A beautifully marked, beautifully marked rattlesnake. Look at those diamond-shaped patterns. Almost similar to a western diamondback. Not quite, but you, you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, this snake is in defensive position. Um, she is afraid of me. I'm much bigger than she is. She will follow my every move. Again, snake's eyesight's based on movement. She's going to follow me around. I am the antagonist. I am the predator. And she, even though she knows me, and I take good care of her, and I feel, feed her on a regular basis, uh, this snake, I'm going to walk in front of the camera. Sorry, folks. Uh, she will not tolerate me. She does not see me as a friend. She sees me as a foe. She's not built like the King Cobra who will eventually let me freehand her with no problem. That tail is wagging vertically about 50 times a second. When you see a rattlesnake's tail shaking so fast, um, you should be checking out at a distance at all times. I'm just going to throw that in there. But when you see that, know that that tail is shaking 50 times a second. They have an amazing, an amazing setup in that tail. She's right now contracting opposing tail muscles at the same time to, to get those rattle segments to hit against each other. So 50 times a second, those contract. Imagine that, contracting your muscles 50 times a second. I'm gonna get her up in the air now. Just don't wanna stress her out. I don't want her up in the air too long. So I'm gonna get her up in the air. I'm gonna show you guys. Whoa, that was a strike. You can see how fast it, it can move if it has to. Okay, look at how beautiful. Love her to look into the camera now, but I'm moving too much. It doesn't take much movement for her to, to pick up on it. See if we can. Uh, cameraman wave. Let's see if we can get her attention. I should have said Eddie. Eddie, he's my cameraman. He's my, he's my guy. He's my right hand man. Keeps me safe. Well, actually, show you Eddie someday. Right now. I want you to see this beauty queen. Look at that. Look at that. Neotropical rattlesnake. So don't underestimate something like this. Never underestimate a snake like this. Uh, they have moves you could not in possibly in anticipate. Um, they can strike so fast. I've seen them crawling up a, 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 a vertical cliff and strike. You know, they right and, and almost almost got tagged by one doing that in Southern California crawling up a vertical embankment and I approached too close and that snake launched vertically off that cliff strike motion and, and she had I not been ready for it um, she would have she would have hit me um, this snake might not be the deadliest snake on our planet but I can assure you that this snake probably the rattlesnake in general has one of the most efficient venom deliver, delivery systems of any snake it, that sec, a split second, that fast, a rattlesnake can decide whether or not to bite you, whether or not to inject venom, and if she decides to inject venom, she can inject, she can calculate with precision how much venom uh, to deliver to you to put you down, either temporarily or permanently, in a split second. I don't know of any other snake that is a, is efficient as one of these. Um, it's just amazing. And, and, and she'll inject a venom eel based on what you're doing to her. When you approach a rattlesnake and she's, you, you witness this, she's frightened. And if she bites you, she's going to give you a deadly eel. When, at the point she thinks you're going to kill her, she will inject a deadly eel. And remember, she can do it just like that. So, so just don't get close to the rattlesnake. Or, or you, know, you could end up in a very, very, very bad place. Okay, so, get it up one more time. It's funny, you know, it's amazing. Now, she doesn't strike unless she thinks she can hit her target. Every time she strikes, she loses energy. They don't have a lot of stamina. And that few predators rattlesnake has counts on that. But they're very difficult to see. Uh, very difficult to see on the ground. And that's why she's designed with that beautiful rattle. I believe there's only one rattlesnake on our planet that does not have a rattle. It uh, lives in the Sea of Cortez uh, on an island 
Santa Catalina, I believe, species, but uh, it, 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 it feeds a boreal rattlesnake. It, it literally is forced because of um, the, the um, prey item, her natural prey item, which used to be rodents on that island, uh, became extinct and she was forced to change her habits, uh, forced to become an arboreal ambush predator. And a rattle would totally get in the way of her trying to surprise that bird in the bush. So that particular rattlesnake doesn't have a rattle, but th every other species does. Not a snake on the planet, there isn't a snake on the planet that leaves a scale behind when it sheds its skin except for the rattlesnake. Every time she sheds her skin, she leaves a precious scale behind at the base of that tail that eventually forms a rattlesnake that protects her. Okay. Don't strike that way, don't hurt yourself. I know what you're up to. Sneaky girl. Say goodbye to Chili Pepper. Yeah, I named you, didn't I? Okay, I love you. I know you'll never feel that way about me. I won't force it. Okay, and she goes back. <laughs>